Oh, are you looking for a budget party speaker? We got a $200 party speaker right here. We got the Dolphin RBT 2100 speaker. If you guys want a party speaker in that budget range, this might be an option. We're gonna unbox this bad boy. We're gonna listen to it and see what it sounds like. Let's get to it. All right, save time. We just got everything out of here because this box is so big. As you can see, we're just gonna pull the speaker out of here and see what we got. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, I'm in a tight space here, so I'm not trying to knock everything over. There we go. This thing is big. Look at that. So like I said, this is a $200 speaker right here um, by Dolphin. Now, I'll put the link down in the description below because I know the names get all confusing with the Dolphin SPT uh, 2100 RBT, all that. Don't worry about that. I got you. I'll put the link down below. This is a $200 party speaker right here. And the crazy thing is like... You know, like the JBL Charge. No, JBL Extreme 3 is like, what, 280 right now? And you can, just for 80 bucks less, you can get this speaker right here. So it looks like it can be laid on the sides too. You do have the little feet here. So you can lay them on the side. You don't have to just have it up and down like this. You can do this if you want to, and you'll be good to go. Also on the back, you guys can see there is a lever, so you can just walk with this thing wherever you guys want to go. You can just roll it around. You don't have to worry about carrying it everywhere because this thing is heavy. Just picking it up all the time is really getting annoying. And let's uh, talk about what came inside the box. You do get a mic um, and you do have a connector for it. So you don't have to worry about that right here. And you do have the connector for the mic and you'll be all set with that. You do have your cable to charge it all up. It comes with a remote to control the speaker so you can control it from a distance, of course. You got the RCA cables right here. So you can also connect it right here with, a, I think like a TV or anything. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of us will use Bluetooth, but some people might need that. And you got these little jumper cable looking things. Look at, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So basically you use this to connect the, another battery to give it more battery life, so like an uh, external battery. So, because the battery life on this is seven hours, so you'll get seven hours of playtime out of this speaker. But what you can do with that little jumper cable looking thing is you can buy a, a separate battery to connect to this, and then you'll have a longer battery life with your speaker if you're like having a party or something. Uh, you can connect two of these. So for like 400 bucks, you can have two of these big old speakers on, you know, different ends of the yard for you know your barbecues your get-togethers or anything that you guys are doing it also has a radio believe it or not in the back of this it's pretty amazing so you just have this you got your little antenna i don't want to break it right there bam bam so if you want to have the little radio going i know a lot of people like the radio you got that right there as well and you have um different eq settings that you can do back here. Let me give you guys a little close up of this. So there's different ways that you can play your music on here. Um, as you can see right here in the top right, you have a TF card slot, SD card slot, a USB slot, so you can just connect your phone straight up to there. And you can connect it all these different ways to listen to it. And like I said, there is an FM radio um, right there and you just put the antenna up and connect it. And you also have your uh, inputs for your mic and stuff. So there's many different ways that you can play music on this speaker. All right, so, oh, we got a little static noise. Let's turn that down. So you do have a um, LED, it lights up. I also seen that you can sync it up and it has, uh, I think five different modes, seven. I have the correct one down here of how many different modes there is. But as you see, it also lights up and then you can link it to sync with the music. Uh, I think it'll do it itself actually, it'll figure out. And it has different modes, changes different colors. So a nice little feature. So it's easy to connect the mic as well, as you can see. And I see the lights lighting up to my voice right there as I talk. Um, so you can connect the mic right here in the back. The wire is pretty long, not too crazy. You can't, I don't know if there's a area to do, I don't know if you could do wireless, you probably can. Um, just by the adapter, you know, connect it in the back of here and the mic will talk to the adapter. I have the volume on pretty low, but yeah, so this is the mic, this is what it sounds like. Uh, put some treble in it, I'm gonna turn the treble up a little bit. That's my word, put some treble in it, that's my word. And uh, you can do karaoke with this thing if you guys wanted to. I might try that later on tonight because I see there is some ports that link to our magic scene, so we might try that. Let's get to the sound test and see what this big old thing sounds like. Let's check it out. All right, bud, so <laughs> this speaker is super loud. Um, I think that's the first time we had a clipping issue. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it, that it was so loud. It was so loud that it was at the point where I was like, 
my little 20 second clip I'm, I play of songs needs to hurry up because I know my neighbors are probably so mad right now. So it is really loud. I am think I'm gonna take it to work uh, tomorrow and also play it outside so we can get an outside test. One thing I noticed, you do wanna use the EQs back here in the back because if you max them out, you get a little peaking in the high. So you just wanna take that down a little bit. So it's nice that you can EQ it back here and see what you're doing. Just take, you know, these little two ones, you know, down a little bit and you can um, not get as high uh, piercing claps, hi-hats and S's in your songs. That would do it right away. It'd be perfect if you guys do that. But the speaker is super loud. It, it surprised me for $200. It, it really surprised me. This thing is loud. That was my little thoughts on it, and I just want to pit it before. Now I'm gonna let you guys finally hear it. So let's finally get to the sound test so you guys can hear it yourselves. <laughs> All right, but so that was a sound test. Honestly, it's really loud. The speaker is crazy loud. Overall, I love the, the pricing of it. $200, you're getting a lot for the, the speaker's really loud for 200 bucks. Um, it's a great speaker to have at a party, you know, you're gonna get some really good volume, some really loud volume in there, and then you can EQ it to your liking in the back just by the knobs. You don't have to worry about getting an app, none of that. You can just adjust the knobs back here in the back, and then you get the, like I said, you get the mic with it. You got different ways to listen to. You have an aux cord back here. You have the TF slots, SD cards, USB. So there's different ways, and you have the FM radio. So there's so many different ways that you can listen to music on this speaker. It's really a good bargain, you know, for 200 bucks. I do give it a thumbs up. We like budget stuff on this channel, and this is a really good budget option right here. So if you guys want to check this out, I'll put the link down in the description for you. You guys don't have to worry about typing in the SP2100 uh, RBT or and all that. I'll put the link down below for you guys and get you to the right speaker. So. Um, check out some of my other speakers right here, right here, wherever it's at. We have some other party speakers on here as well. And if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in my next video. My name is Rodney. This is Wanna Buy It. Peace.